Hello my friends, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be responding to a comment that I received on this tutorial. This tutorial was about how to get VS Code's remote development feature working on NixOS running on Windows subsystem for Linux. So the comment that I received from my new friend Devendra uh, reads, good job, please make a video on remote development with NixOS on a virtual machine. Uh, I'm assuming this means a virtual machine running somewhere in the cloud. So that is what we're going to do. It just so happens that I have, um, I have a, a remote server over at Hetzner. Uh, I'm going to log into that here on the left. And in that server, I have checked out this repository. So this repository is the NixOS WSL starter. And in this tutorial, we took a little snippet from the WSL file here. So on your remote server, you'll need to add this systemd user service. And what this does is every time that a change is detected in the VS Code server bin directory. This is the directory that is created by your local VS Code on the remote server when it tries to install the remote plugin. So whenever a change is detected here, um, this systemd user service will go inside and fix the node binaries um, so that they're pointing to the version of Node.js 18 that is in the NixOS store. So I've already uh, applied this change on my server and what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is set up Visual Studio Code so that we can get our files up on here, right? So if you go to the Remote Explorer tab on the left, you will find that there are two uh, drop-down options. One is for WSL. We want the one titled Remotes Tunnels slash SSH. So we want to add a new remote. And here you're going to put in your SSH command, right? So I'm going to put my SSH command for that server. I'm going to save it to the default file. I actually never do any SSHing or development besides Como Rebi on Windows. Everything I do is in NixOS on WSL. So actually, that brings me to another point. It means I don't keep my <laughs> I don't keep my SSH key on Windows. So I'm going to copy that over real quick. Huh. I guess I already copied it over when I was setting up. We'll see. We'll see when we try and log in. There are some permissions issues when you try to um, when you try and do copies from the NixOS mount to the to the Windows drive. Anyway, we'll assume that that file is there. I'm not going to cat it out or anything because I don't want to give away my credentials. Uh, so we have added this, and now. Uh, how did this work again? Uh, I think I need to restart it. So... Uh, yeah, let's, let's try that. Let's restart VS Code. After I've added that. Um... And yeah, the one that we added now comes up under, um, Remotes SSH. So we are gonna... Connecting current window, and this is not gonna work. Right? So it's going to be doing a bunch of stuff here and it is probably gonna fail because it's waiting for the systemd service to kick in, right? So I'm just gonna start that off. Uh, and the next time that we retry this, hopefully, uh, it should work. Yay, got connection, got connection. So that is looking good. 
And if we go now to open folder, I can go into the NixOS WSL starter repository. I can open it up and I will get the files. Uh, yes, I trust the authors. So I'm not sure how much more I can make this bigger so that y'all can see, but it does indeed say <laughs> Um, NixOS w WSL starter being connected to via SSH on my remote server. So let's make this a little bit smaller so that I can actually do stuff. Um, why don't we go to flake.nix and add a comment right at the top. Hello, I am editing this file from VS Code. I'm going to hit save. So I've hit save and now I am going to open flake.nix through the SSH connection and you can see here my changes are there and actually actually you can see that the vim swap file <laughs> came up on the explorer on the left. So that's pretty cool that's that's what you gotta do if you would like to use a powerful remote server to um, to run your code on remotely from VS Code running. It can be on Windows, it can be on Linux, it can be on Mac OS. This is how you set up that, um, that SSH remote connectivity. And it's really useful, right? Like maybe you don't have the most powerful laptop and you need to crunch some numbers. It's really useful to be able to spin up a VM that, I don't know, maybe you only need to to run stuff on it for an hour, for two hours. Like maybe you just pay for two hours of compute time on a really, really powerful virtual machine or, or dedicated server. You do your thing and then you shut it down. Um, it's really handy and especially, especially if you are managing your configuration with NixOS, and if you have followed my tutorial, let me see if I can find this one actually. Uh, I have a, um, NixOS multi-machine starter. So, you know, if you are reusing your um, NixOS configuration in a way that you can set up remote machines very quickly as well with everything that you need, it's like a no-brainer, right? You spin up a really powerful machine with everything pre-configured, everything that you need. You do your stuff, you're done in a fraction of the time. That makes a lot of sense. I think it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty smart way to work. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this helps you all. Um, before I go, I do want to share that unfortunately, I was impacted by a round of layoffs, um, which really sucks for me. Uh, I'm in the United States and it's not the best place to be laid off. You know, uh, I was invited to a Google Meet call at 9am and two minutes later I was jobless. So that sucks, but if you are somebody who uses any of my software, please consider becoming a sponsor to help me out during this uncertain time. You can go onto any of my repositories, you can hit the sponsor button, and you know, even if you just sponsor for a couple of dollars a month, that makes a huge difference to me. Um, and of course, thank you to all of these lovely sponsors who have been supporting me along the way uh that is pretty much it for this time stay tuned for more como Rebi content more nix os content and if you have more requests uh especially for nix os tutorials definitely let me know in those comments make sure you hit the like button make sure you leave the comments i always love hearing from you all all right that is it that is that, yep that is everything from me uh, I hope that whatever you all do today, you have a great, great day, free Palestine, and I'll see you all back here next time.